Hi friends and welcome to the video. I'm Olivia and if you've never seen my face before, as you see behind me, I am a fragrance enthusiast, reviewer, whatever you'd like to call me. And if you have seen my face before, hello my friend. We are continuing our summer series today with the best unisex fragrances for summer. Unisex fragrances are absolutely my favorite category of fragrances because I like to be a little bit gender fluid and I feel like I can express myself with my fragrance, so I have a very special place in my heart for these fragrances. And I'm happy to announce that we have a sponsor for today's video, and that will be Fulton & Rourke. Fulton & Rourke is an American fun fragrance company. They were kind enough to send me over a discovery kit so that way I could share some of my favorites. First off, we have Sterling, and this is tobacco, leather, and vanilla. And this smells very luxurious. That leather is there, but it is very smooth, and it almost smells a little bit smoked. Next is Kiowa, and this is described as coastal fresh cedar, cold mountain air meets ocean breeze. It's aquatic, it's fresh, and this one is one of my favorites. But I've seen Save the best for last, this is a solid fragrance compact in the scent Calle Ocho. This has rum, tobacco, and sandalwood, and this is my dream come true in a fragrance. This would layer with so many things in my collection. I can chuck this compact in my bag, and I know it's not going to spill because it's solid. You can just swipe your fingers and apply it to your pulse points. This one just smells so incredible. Hands down, the best one. Thank you so much to Fulton & Rourke for sponsoring this portion of the video. These are incredible scents, so if you want more information, I'm going to put these down below in my description box. And now let's get started with the video. First off on today's list, we have one from the House of Juice box, and this is called Cheeky Smile. Now this is going to be one of your molecular fragrances. Think another 13, Not a Perfume by Juliet Has a Gun, but think of those on steroids because I hear so many people that say, oh, I can't really smell these Your Skin But Better fragrances. This is the most beast mode molecular fragrance I have ever tried. This is going to be Your Skin But Better, but in the most amplified way. This has an amberiness that gives this beautiful warmth and depth to the fragrance. It has a muskiness that's going to support your natural skin smell, but it also has a nice woody base. And when I say proceed with caution, this stuff is so powerful that this will not come off until you wash your clothes, until you fully wash your skin. So when I say only wear a couple sprays of this fragrance, only two. Truly, you do not need more than that. And if you're sensitive, only go with one. And what's lovely about this is this is a beautiful layering tool for any fragrance that you wanna put over top of it because it is such a fixative that it's going to make any fragrance last. So if you have trouble smelling another 13 or not a perfume, this is going to be your guy. This is Cheeky Smile from Juicebox. Next is quite a pricey fragrance, but I think it offers something really unique. So this is from the House of Bow and this is called Infinite Oud. When looking at the notes of this fragrance, you would think that this is an incredibly heavy fragrance. You've got myrrh, you've got black pepper, you've got oud, you've got patchouli. So these are things that are traditionally so, so thick and heavy. And I'm not sure how they've done it, but this is both rich and airy at the same time. So this is still going to fare very well in the warmer months. It's earthy, it's woody, it's spicy and peppery, yet somehow it still feels very light and sheer on your skin, but lasts a very, very, very long time. So that is Infinite Oud by House of Bow. Next is another molecular type fragrance, and this is from eccentric molecules, and this is called Molecule 01 and Ginger. So this has ISOE Super, that is once again going to offer you that your skin but better molecular type fragrance DNA, but this has a very photorealistic, refreshing, tangy, almost a little bit spicy hit of ginger. So if you like the smell of freshly cut ginger, this is what you're going to get out of this. That ISOE Super comes through as a little bit of a woodiness, so it adds this earthy quality to it, but this is ultra refreshing. This is invigorating. So this would be great if you were going to the gym or you're going on a hike, or you need something that will help you to freshen and liven up. It almost has a slightly citric sort of vibe to it because of the piercingness of that ginger. 
but because it's so photorealistic and natural, I don't find it bothersome because sometimes I find ginger to be a little bit too sharp and piercing for my taste, but this is done so well. So this is Molecule 01 and Ginger by Eccentric Molecules. Next is a very special fragrance to me. I have an obsession with this fragrance. If you don't take anything away from this video but this, get your hands on a sample of this. This is Electric Wood by Room 1015, and this smells like a vintage guitar. So you've got a really dry cedar, but you also have the resin that holds a guitar together. So you have this beautiful vintage wooden guitar. The resin in this offers a little bit of sweetness, but on the whole, this is a very, very dry woody fragrance with a little bit of iris to add just the slightest touch of powderiness, but that little bit of sweetness is what makes this special from that resin. So think ambery, very dry wood, a little slight bit of powderiness, and straight magical, 100% straight magical. And to me, this is the most perfect fragrance to layer with my favorite lotion of all time, which we're going to talk about next. This is the Hinoki Body Cream from Le Labo. I have made videos about this on Instagram and TikTok. If you guys don't follow me there, you should definitely because I have shorter clips of content that are a little bit more fun for scrolling, not these long videos. And I've talked about how many times I have repurchased this. And I mean, I need to repurchase it because I am down to the very last bit. This is inspired by the Buddhist temples in Japan on Mount Koya. This is supposed to smell like the forests of Hinoki trees. So once again, you're getting that dry woody smell, but you are also getting something that smells a little bit like damp, mossy earth. This is, dare I say, the best scent that I have ever put my nose on. And when I say this is the most beautiful combination I have ever tried. I feel like a rock star when I wear this because you're getting dry, you're getting woody, you're getting smoky, you're getting earthy, a little bit mossiness, but then you're getting that touch of ambery resinous sweetness. This is the best unisex combination I can give to you guys. Next is another from the House of Le Labo. This is Bergamot 22. And this is, for the last several years, a summertime staple because this is a citrus-based fragrance, but it is not super sour and sharp and piercing. It just has that beautiful, refreshing, tangy quality supported with some more earthy notes. You have a vetiver that gives this dry, hay-like quality. You have a little bit of orange blossom that gives the most sheer floral nuance, but it is not sharp, it is not headache-inducing because white florals in me can be a little bit testy, so if you're worried about that, don't worry about it. It's only just a little hair in there. And on the dry down, you get this beautiful cedar, a muskiness that kind of envelops you in a second skin feel, along with a beautiful vanilla to give you a natural vanilla sweetness, not anything artificial, just the slightest bit of sweetness on the dry down. So overall, this is a refreshing citrus fragrance with some dry, almost hay-like earthiness, a bit of woodiness, and a beautiful vanilla dry down. That is Bergamot 22 from Le Labo. Next is from the brand Zimmer, and this is called Alchemy. And once again, this is another fragrance that when you read the notes, you would think that this is way better suited for fall or winter time because you've got suede, you've got clove, you've got pink pepper, you've got rum, you've got sandalwood and musk. But once again, this is a fragrance that is done really well that you could wear this all year round. I was a little bit afraid when I first got this because the first note listed is star anise, and I cannot stand a licorice type scent. It is absolutely not for me, but rest assured, this adds a little bit of an aromatic quality to this. The pink pepper adds a little bit of spiciness, but this is so well blended that to me, this is a soft suede with a little bit of an aromatic quality, a beautiful musky dry down with a creamy sandalwood and a warm tonka bean. So this has a warming, soft, almost cashmere type effect, 
but it is not heavy. So if you like those winter fragrances better, because personally, I like winter fragrances so much better than spring and summer fragrances. I just gotta say it. So this is for those of you who like more wintry fragrances, but you need something that's appropriate for spring and summer. That is Zimmer Alchemy. Next is from the maker, and this is called Naked. This is an aromatic pink pepper musk fragrance. So to me, what this smells like, it almost smells as if you took a very soft version of Santal 33 because that fragrance, whew, it is very, very powerful. So if you took a very soft amount of that and added this to Dossier, to Glossier U, you have that beautiful powdery scent along with a little bit of angelica that gives us a little bit of an herbal green quality. You have an orris that gives a buttery, almost suede-like component, but weirdly enough, this has the note of carrot, and you rarely see that in fragrances, but weirdly enough, it does add a naturally sweet vegetal type of scent that I really enjoy in this. I like this for chilling at the house or just doing groceries when you want something that's your skin but better. But if Glossier U was just a little bit too simple, this is similar to me, but it's much more complex. So that is Naked by The Maker. Next, we have another fragrance that has the note of ginger. And although that's a tricky note for me, I love this fragrance. This is from Abbott and this is called Mojave. So in the beginning, you get a tangy, bright bergamot that gives a beautiful citrus hit that's followed with a black pepper. You also have tobacco leaf that is more of the leaf itself. Not a dried leaf, not a burnt leaf, but the actual tobacco leaf when it's live. You get this very regal saffron that just elevates this and makes this smell like a very expensive perfume, which it is not. And the ginger in here is such a beautiful addition to give it almost a sparkling quality, but it's nicely balanced with that black pepper and saffron. So this smells very regal. This smells very expensive and it's very refreshing. So if you don't want something that's super heavy and woody, this is going to be perfect for you. This is Mojave from Abbott. Next, this is going to be a very sexy unisex fragrance that's gonna be better for date night. So this is called Drunk Lovers from Born to Stand Out. In the beginning, this is citrusy and aromatic, but it has the note of red berries. So it gives it this sweetness that's accompanied with a cognac. So you have this rich booziness. You have a creamy sandalwood, a patchouli that's balmy and very palatable because I'm not a patchouli fan, but to me, this is refreshing in the beginning. But then in comes this smooth sweetness, a little bit of earthiness, and there's no other word to describe this, but sexy. This is date night. This smells like a raunchy love affair. I don't know how to explain that any better because there is a little bit of dirtiness, but there's sweetness, there's booziness, and this fragrance has absolutely stolen my heart and the performance of this is really good. I know some people have said that this house doesn't really last that long for them, but this one, given that its scent profile has a little bit more oomph, this one sticks around. So that is Drunk Lovers from Born to Stand Out. Next is a brand new fragrance from the House of Eldo, and this is called, pardon my French, quite literally, Sous le Pont Mirabeau. <laughs> that's, that's as best as you're gonna get out of me. And if you love Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt and Santal 33, imagine those two had a baby. So you have that dry herbal sandalwood, but you have that beautiful fig leaf that you get in the Joe Malone scent as well as a saltiness, a little bit of an oceanic type quality. So this is aquatic, this is refreshing, this is a little bit herbal, and this is nowhere near as suffocating and leathery as Santal 33. Just think of that sandalwood, but think of it accompanied with really beautiful aromatic qualities and this beautiful ocean breeze. So this is going to be very refreshing. This is gonna be perfect for those of you who want something for a beach day or going into the office because this is not going to offend anybody and this actually lasts a really good amount of time without having a monstrous projection. That's Sur le Pont Mirabeau by Etalib de Range. 
Next is a very unique one from the House of Skylar, and this is called Indigo Valley. Now we're taking it into a little bit more of a fruity direction. So this has blueberry and this has marshmallow. So you would think that this is very, very sweet, but it's on the more natural side. You know when you squish a blueberry? I don't know if you did that as a kid, but I did. And you smell it and it doesn't smell fruity as in like a candy, but it has that natural sweetness. And the marshmallow adds a bit of a fluffy characteristic, but is not overly sweet. This also is accompanied with lotus, which is floral, but also quite a bit aquatic. So this has a sweet fruitiness, an aquatic touch, along with a very, very gentle suede to give it a little bit of an animalic quality without being too intense. So this is on the lighter side, but it is quite a unique offering from this house. I think that they do fragrances really well because a lot of them are very, very likable, but they're very interesting at the same time. And unfortunately from this house the performance tends to be very poor and i'm talking like three hours but because this has the note of suede it has a bit more of a woody musky dry down this one i am happy to report lasts about five hours in comparison to the few hours that you'll get from this house usually. Next is from a niche house. I talked about another fragrance from this house last week but this one is from the house of while and this is called aftertaste and this has stolen my heart in the short amount of time that I've had this. This is absolutely beautiful. But I'll warn you, this is gonna be for someone who likes something a little bit more complex. So this to me is slightly reminiscent of Te Noir from Le Labo, which a lot of you know that I am a diehard for that fragrance. So if you like that fragrance, I guarantee you will like this. This is a very interesting scent profile. You have ash, you have leather, you have saffron. And to me, this smells almost like a black tea with a little bit of an ashiness to it, a little bit of a dried smoked wood component with that leather in there that is just so interesting. It creates this alchemy on your skin and you will smell like absolutely nobody else. So if you're looking for something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more daring, I would try Aftertaste from Wild. Next is from the house of Juliet has a gun and this is called Ego Stratus. Now similar to Indigo Valley, this also has the note of blueberry, but this in the beginning is very, very citrus forward. So it's very, very tart and refreshing. You've got bergamot, you've got lemon, you've got mandarin orange, and you also have a juicy peach. But this has a neroli and an aquatic feel to it. So you get this beautiful refreshing blast of citruses, you get this sweet fruitiness, and you also get an aquatic floral touch with a beautiful musky dry down. So this has that molecular type fragrance in the base. So if you want something that's very uplifting, very refreshing, with a little bit of sweetness in the aquatic feel, this one is going to be for you. That is Ego Stratus from Juliet Has a Gun. And last but not least, we have a brand spanking new release from the house of Fleur. Now this is called Father Figure, and I have said time and time again on Instagram and on TikTok that I think fig fragrances are going to be the next big thing. And then would you looky here, what do we have? We have another fig fragrance. But this is not just a fig fragrance. This has iris and oris. So there is quite a bit of powderiness in this. The oris and sandalwood combination give this a suede like dry down on the skin. And in this, I'm getting a semi-ripe fig. You're getting a bit of sweetness, but you're getting a delicate floral aspect that you get from fig with a little bit of a crisp greenness. So don't think of a super ripe purple fig and don't think of a hard green fig. This is perfectly in the middle. So overall, this is powdery. This is a little bit leathery. This has a beautiful sweet floral fig and it has a little bit of a creamy touch from the sandalwood. So to me, this is a very unique offering from this house. They make a little bit more introductory fragrances in my opinion. They're usually a little bit simple, but this one is anything but. This is very daring. And if you haven't already seen the campaign photos for this scent, 
they're so cool they're so cool so go check them out on instagram and that is father figure from fleur i hope you guys enjoyed today's video that's all i've got for you i have to run into work so i have a feeling this video is going to be a little bit short i apologize i'll be sure to make it up to you next week so make sure you tune in 10 a.m pst you know where to find me it is right here so if you haven't subscribed already please do so and i will see you next saturday and until then take care of yourselves my friends